Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, we are on a different server today. Um, if you saw my previous two videos, I'd mentioned uh, the server I had been on for and in, in recording for the last 87 episodes. Uh, this series um, no longer allows, at least temporarily, hopefully just temporarily, no longer allows us to do any live streaming or uh, posting videos on YouTube or anything. Um, if we do that, then we can be banned. So I don't want to do that because I've got 30 characters on that on that server, and I really like them, and I, I really enjoy playing there. So I've uh, uh, tested a few other servers, and this is called the Thunder Spy server. Uh, it's one of the alternatives, and um, it's somewhat different. That the game, of course, plays the same. Um, the uh, our previous server was the largest, had the largest uh, uh, group of players in it. And uh, also gave you like a thousand slots. This one seems to have a total of 17 slots, uh, 12 on this particular one. Um, and uh, we have some, it does things a little bit different, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I also looked at Rebirth, which is um, kind of like vanilla City of Heroes from the time it was shut down. Um, and then this particular one, Thunder Spy, is a bit of an avant-garde type uh, server. They, they, they've added some, some new, um, uh, power sets and that kind of thing, and um, they they do a little some some a little bit uh, more unusual things. So just different tests and things. So it's kind of exciting. So I created a brand new character uh, named Deep Freeze. I'm surprised I got that name. It's pretty good. Um, and uh, I've had some pretty good luck in the last uh, few episodes with stalkers. I did some some stalker episodes that seem to be very well received. So I decided to create a stalker uh, character here. Um, I could not do an ice ice stalker because apparently the ice melee was uh, is not available on, on the server. That's, that was a, in addition to the previous server I was on. So I create a radiation uh, ice stalker, and I've made the radiation powers look kind of like ice cubes. We'll see. Um, it kind of works. I like the look of this guy. He's kind of a big dumb goof. Um, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and play him, and we'll take him through. Now, here's the interesting thing. He's only level one. And here's the interesting thing. I thought I might as well, uh, since I'm going to do everything new, go ahead and do something I've been thinking about for a while, which is start off not on in the blue side heroes or red side villains, but in Pretoria, the gold side. Um, Pretoria, as as many of you know, was a, was a, a um, an add-on to the game. Um, they had a, an expansion, City of Villains, back in 2006, and then I think around 2009 or 2010 they did Going Rogue, which added Pretoria. And Pretoria is not hero or villain. Pretoria is an alternate universe. It's like the mirror universe in Star Trek. So all the good guys from the regular City of Heroes are now bad guys and that kind of thing. So uh, Statesman, who was the main hero in City of Heroes and, and Paragon City, um, in Pretoria, he's known as Emperor Cole, and he's a, a, a dictator. Um, in Pretoria, um, this version of Earth was almost completely conquered by the Hamadon, which is a, this big jellyfish-looking creature that you can find in a regular game. On this side, though, the Hamadon is much bigger, much more dangerous, and uh, Emperor Cole was able to single-handedly, I guess with other heroes, uh, stop Hamadon, and he built a walled city in what's left of the United States. It's not much left, um, and he calls it Pretoria, and he's built this utopian society where everything is beautiful and skyscrapers and everything's wonderful, as long as you do everything Emperor Cole tells you to do. So he is like the, you know, the dictator of the town, and uh, and his right hand man is backyard brawler, um, who's a hero in, in City of Heroes, but here he's a bad guy. It's a, or, it's not really good guys, bad guys. Um, it's loyalist and resistance. And if you're a follower of Emperor Cole and you agree with, with the way he's running things, then you're a loyalist. And if you're a group who believes in the American ideals of freedom and things, then you're a resistance guy. And Emperor Cole, to his credit, did you know save humanity and, and create this city and he's, got to, and he's protecting everyone there. So he deserves a little bit of credit for that. But, you know, so you can play either side. Now, here's the thing. You not only have two factions in Pretoria of, of loyalists versus resistance, you can also play a loyalist who is secretly resistance fighter. So you're like a spy. Or you can play a resistance fighter who's secretly a loyalist and you're working as a spy. So you got four tracks. The interesting thing here is that 
all four of those tracks had their own story arcs, fully fleshed out story arcs. Because we're going to be in Pretoria for 20 levels. It goes from levels 1 through 20, and at the end of 20 levels, your story arc should be complete. And then you choose to go either the blue side or red side. You, you move over to the main Earth, the main version of Earth that we're used to playing in the game. Um, I have to say, the story arcs that they have for Pretoria are some of the best stories in the entire game. They are thought-provoking, and they have some interesting ideas behind them. They make you really think about it, and, and what should I do? Um, it's, it leads to moral consequences for your character and for yourself. How do you want to proceed? It's really good. The problem with Pretoria is that the missions that make up these story arcs are terrible. They're so boring and so frustrating. Um, you will see how many times we have to, we're told to go into the underground tunnels and fight the ghouls. Um, enemies here are much tougher than in City of Heroes or City of Villains. Uh, they're generally conning yellow to us right away. Um, they generally have a lot of resistance or defense against our attacks. Um, they're a pain in the neck, to be honest with you. The ghouls are such a, a pain in the neck team of enemies that when we go to blue side and we have to face some Vazalot, it'll be like, oh, we love the Vazalot. We've missed them so much. Yeah, the ghouls are so bad, the Vazalot look great in comparison. Um, so that's a problem. The other problem is there aren't a lot of players who play on the gold side of the game, um, no matter what server you're on. It's, it's kind of dead, so we're going to be kind of on our own. And that's another reason why I played a stalker. But it's really good uh, uh, story content, uh, storylines. And uh, a lot of times players will come in here, create a new character, go into Pretoria with their friends, and do like some team missions, uh, working together to do the story arcs. Now, the other interesting thing about this is we're going to choose one of our four uh, story arcs, you can switch sides. You can switch alignments as we go through the stories. So if we started one thing, we may change to another. And there's a guy online who has found a way that you can do all four story arcs with one single character if you bounce around in just the right way. We're not going to do that. It's too complicated. But if you see what you, if you like what you see on these videos, we're going to do a series of videos we're going to do in Pretoria, you may want to go ahead and read up on that and try that. So. Uh, you can do four different characters, two in the story arcs, or you can do one, or you know, however you want to do it. Um, anyway, we're going we're gonna to give this a shot. We're going to see what happens. Um, this server, again, is very different. Uh, they have different rules and things. Um, I think that Thunder Spy does have like pay-to-win stuff, which is pretty cool. It's, we call it, they call it pay-to-win. It's not really pay, of course. Uh, they have these unspent tokens. This is something from the original game, Paragon Rewards. We get 46 of them. I guess we just get them. This is something you just have to earn back in the day. You had to, you get like every every three months, you got a, you got another one of these things or something like that. Um, but look how we got these things right away. So uh, the first one, two random dual inspirations, mission teleport charges. Okay. This one, trench coats. Oh, yeah, I think you have to earn your cape and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, I'll play around with this. The Greek alphabets, belly shirt for females, ghostly. So these are things we can earn. Shoulder, yeah, they, yeah. This is where you get your capes and samurai. Uh, yeah. So there's some costume things you have to earn in the game like this, and uh, pet choices. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go through that a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let's um, let's get started. So that's a lot of talking. To start off this episode, but we have a new server, we have a new character, we're in a new starting area. What's going to happen? I don't know. Let's find out. This is very exciting. Let's get him in the game and see where we're at. Uh, I signed up for the tutorial because I don't remember if the tutorial is that where we choose which line we're going to go in or not. Oh, I got that costume part. Okay, so I got to go up here and talk to this guy, Reese. I got the memo about you, Deep Freeze. You're being assigned to my division for a while. Do you know who I am? I am a top dog in Crater White's power division. That means I'm famous, well-known, and respected. However, I have a task that can only be handled by an unrecognizable greenie. That's you. What do you need me to do? Welcome to Powers Division. I have. I need you to infiltrate the resistance. There are destroyers all over the streets. It's a mess. Don't be fooled, however. They're just pawns of the real threat of, to peace in Pretoria, the resistance. The resistance is always looking for new recruits. I've made it known that you aren't happy being inducted into Powers Division. 
That should be enough to get your foot in the door. The rest is up to you. Where should I go to find the recruiter? There's a resistance recruiter that is ready to meet you. Go to the door under the nearby underpass. That door will take you to the underground. Once you make contact with the resistance member, I will send in additional troops to arrest him and his buddies. Be careful. The resistance will tell you anything to get you to join them. Don't fall in the trap of believing their lies. Okay. One thing I think about, um, my story for this character is that, you know, he is this, you know, he's a big farm boy guy. Um, came in from the farm. He was probably a young kid when Hamadon took over and destroyed the, the world. Um, Emperor Cole saved what's left of humanity, including he and his family. He's been living out there in the in the far, but the outer reaches of uh, Pretoria for a long time. Uh, he probably idolizes Emperor Cole, and now he finally gets his dream job. He's, he's moved to the big city, and he's going to work for the emperor himself. He's going to be one of his, his main guys. So I'm starting this guy off as a loyalist, a true and blue loyalist. So if this guy tells him the emperor needs him to go pretend to be resistance, then that's what this guy's going to do. So see, here's the entry level enemies. They're already kind of tough. Well, I'm going to go invisible, put on hide. Here's my power set. I've got radiation and I've got ice. Put one power each because I'm level one. And I can't afford to fight anybody. So I don't want anyone to see me. So they start you off. It's pretty tough, even from the beginning of this game. That was getting a little loud. Okay, I'm going to turn, turn down a little bit. All right, sorry about that. I had a, uh, my, my virus protection did not like something in the game. So, okay, so we just entered into this uh, underground lair. We've got these uh, little how-to things, which I'll get rid of. We already know how to play the game. And there are a lot of them. All right, let's see. Okay, this is what the clockwork looked like in this in this version of the of the world. They're actually kind of uh, clean and neat looking. Greetings, Deep Freeze. I am a clockwork program to aid the resistance. The person you are to meet is currently on the run for the PPD. I have been sent to please uh, use the supply crate to receive some inspirations. All right, let's see if I can go into the. Uh, Oh, because I'm inside. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to this guy again. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Please take this earpiece. The man you're supposed to meet with will speak to you through it. I've been instructed to give you additional data required. I'm told to direct you to the door up ahead. You can destroy it to move forward. You'll stay here. Okay, you, you now have a choice. You can choose to leave the clockwork down here or convince it that the PPD have cleared away from the surface. If the clockwork goes to the surface, the PPD will scan it for all information regarding the resistance, then destroy it. These minor choices will appear throughout your travels in Pretoria. This will not change your alignment, but will affect the dialogue and story. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convince this clockwork to go topside. Understood, Deep Freeze. I will return to the surface. Thank you for your assistance. All right, so this guy is going to be uh, junk very soon. Let's, let's use our powers here. Okay, we're going to see a lot of these tunnels down here. Uh, let me uh, turn this down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of these tunnels down here. Now, once we start doing these missions, I'm not going to show like all the you See, these are the ghouls. And this is what they do in most of these maps. There's millions of them down here. It's just terrible. It's very frustrating to play these stupid little missions. That's the day to day in the tunnels. Trying your best not to get chomped. If we get out of here fast enough, we can scamp and let the PPD badgers and the ghouls chomp. Okay, whatever. Okay. This will be my chance. Survive the powers of vision. Just don't get in the way. We're cleaning up the rest up ahead. You're not going anywhere, terrorist. Your attacks on the people of Pretoria end today. Deep freeze. So Praetor White couldn't just let the PPD handle this, huh? 
As you can see, we're finishing things up with the resistance. I guess you're here to show us how it's done, aren't you? Are you going to follow through on your orders? And take down the resistance scum? So we can join the resistance? Or we can remain a loyalist? Well, we want to remain the loyalist because we're going to work for the, uh, the Emperor Cole and all the wonderful things he's done for us. Badge earned. All right. I trusted you, Deep Freeze. I won't make the same mistake twice. Do I get to kill this guy? Guess so. All right. Heck, man. He fires, he fires back. These cops aren't very useful. <laughs> Come on, cops. Do something. Yikes. All right, speak with the Loyalist leader. Oh. You made the right choice, Deep Freeze. Calvin Scott and his little band of subversives want to only tear down the Utopia Emperor Cole has built it before us. Just remember, we don't need you here. The PPD has what it takes to bring down the Resistance without the help of some superpowered types like you. Provost Marshand is coming down to speak with you. Looks like he's taking interest in you. Okay. Let's go let's talk to this guy. Hello, Deep Freeze. I am Provost Marshal Gerald Mar Provost Marshal Gerald T. Marchand. I run all military operations for Emperor Cole. This means I also help run the PPD. I am impressed at your actions here today with the resistance. Look around you, Deep Freeze. All these PPD die trying to get one resistance member. It's inefficient. I've done my best with the PPD, but it isn't enough. We need people like you to help defend the Pretoria against the resistance and other threats. And believe me, there are many that would seek to destroy our beautiful city. Right, look, let's just keep moving. What's the next step? There we go. We're level two. Exit through the door behind me and speak to Praetor White. Praetor White is backyard brawler uh, back alley brawler in the uh, uh, regular game. He's a hero there. Uh, while I'm in charge of Praetor's military, he's in charge of the Powers Division. You'll be able to start your career in protecting Praetoria or perhaps the rise of power with them. He's somewhat rough around the edges, but I fully trust him with the safety of our great city. Okay, so we're going to get out of these tunnels. And we'll get our contact. So this is the main, the Magisterium. Uh, it's really beautiful. I mean, these graphics are, are really old. They're 15 years old now. But this is really beautiful, even so. You have enough experience to level up to level two. Go see Praetor Duncan in the Magisterium to receive proper training and pick your new power. So this is where we used to meet uh, Lady Liberty and uh, Miss Liberty. And this is, this is Miss Liberty in this version. But she's... Loyalist, so she's very different. Praetor Duncan, that's her, her real name. Okay, train to a new level of power. And what I am going to take is my next attack power, which is Radioactive Smash. There. Alrighty. Now let's go talk to our first real contact. Okay, so this is backyard back alley brawler. It goes by Pritter White here. Pritter White looks at you beneath his glasses, cracking his neck. Deep freeze. Heard a lot of things about you. Don't getting all cocky just because you took down some member of the resistance. You're talking to the guy who fought during the Hamadon Wars, so I ain't impressed hearing that someone took down a stupid idealist who could use a gun. But you got my attention, so that means something for now. You got some spark in you, even if you're still on the same level as most of the superpowered dogs here in Pretoria. Me, I'm the top dog. I keep all the other powered dogs in line. You want to get noticed? Break yourself away from the pack and join mine. That's what you're trying to do, Deep Freeze. That's the idea, Praetor White. I see a lot of ambition in you, Deep Freeze, but they ain't going to give you a free pass in, in my group. If you really want to get through the powers division, though, 
we're going to have to make sure you get the skills it takes to stand side by side with us. You think you've got what it takes? Because I ain't got time to babysit any dogs when I can just throw you away. I can handle any, I can handle whatever is thrown at me. Ah, that's the spirit. Before we get underway, Deep Freeze, there's something you should know. There's a lot of stuff to be done here in Praetoria, keeping the peace and whatnot. Once you prove yourself as a member of the Powers Division, you can either continue doing work with the Loyalists or you can go undercover into the Resistance cell. You'll have to do a lot of things for those scum in the Resistance, and it'll take it, but it'll help us get some inside dirt on them, like whatever the main hub is. You have the option as a member of the Loyalists to do missions on the sides of the Resistance. They will play through normally, however, at certain points you will be able to contact a high-ranking official in the Loyalists to add options to the missions to swing events in favor of the Loyalists. All right, what's next? Next, huh? We start working. That's what's next. Get yourself used to being in the high society of the Loyalists. Then come to me, and we'll get moving towards keeping the peace here in Pretoria. Will do. All right. Let me see if I can do the, get to the auction house. Nope, that may just be uh, something on our other server. I really like that. I, it was so easy to just go, I was going to sell this and make some money, because I have no cash. <laughs> All right, so what do we need to do next? Okay, I kind of, yeah, I click on them again. Listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. Pretoria, Pretoria City is filled with yapping little dogs like you. And do you know who, who I am? I'm the top dog. Yeah, we got that. Uh, okay. Name is Mr. White, but between you and me, you can call me Mr. White. <laughs> got it. <laughs> While Emperor Cole's off saving the world, I'm in charge of the muscle. I work hard to keep this city safe from the tunnel rats who think they can take away all that we've worked for. That's where my powers division comes into play. I'm the division, and all the other guys are my power. Now that we got that straight, stop with a jibber-jabber and let's get down to business. Ask about available missions. All right, joining the pack, part one, acts of desperation. This day just gets better and better. We lost a lot of officers during the resistance attack on Precinct 5 earlier. Then to make matters worse, the Dumb as Dirt TPN Media Circus Decides it would be a good idea to report it on it and spin the Pyrrhic victory into a crushing victory over the terrorist centerpiece in today's news. So now a riot's broken out here in the Magisterium. And to top it all off, the Resistance used the battle as a distraction to get their true objective. They've taken hostages in the Ministry of Technology. I need you to get in there and rescue those hostages before something important gets killed. I just can't believe how lax a PPD have gotten without us around. Well, maybe they can show them how it's done. You know, I've got, I'll have got i go in there and take care of it myself. I even have half of mine to do so anyway, but Cleo is right. I'll end up killing every coward in there and level the building, and that wouldn't do us any favors right now, winning back the trust of the people. All right, so what I need to do is rescue hostages in the Ministry of Technology, which is that building over there. And let me go ahead and uh, get this set up. We'll go over there and see about fighting, since we have two powers, no money, and, uh, <laughs> heck. I can't remember. Oh, let's take a look at the map first, too. Uh, the overall city is four different sections, really three sections. This is uh, Nova Pretoria. Uh, when we get a little higher level, we'll move over here to Imperial City. After that, we'll move over to Neutropolis, which is this uh, combination of things over here. And I think that they have other things like First Ward and things. I'm not sure where those are at. So here is our map of the zone itself. Here's where the, the Magisterium is. And there's beautiful, beautiful uh, buildings all around here. Um, and we can cross bridges or use the transportation thing to, next, to the next uh, section. Um, a lot of underground tunnel accesses, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to find where I can get to the uh, auction house, but oh well. I think we have to wait until we get to the next uh, zone, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Okay, let's see what happens when we go in to rescue some hostages. Okay, now these maps will look very familiar if we saw some of the, the missions I did with, um, um, I had to fight Captain Castillo in some maps that look just like this, and this is where they came from.
The advantage of being a stalker. Hey, there's one of our... Ooh, we may have to fight all these jokers, but let's get these guys first. Nice. I don't want these other guys to see me. Please don't look over here. Please don't look over here. Please don't look over here. Okay. Now, one thing, I believe that the... Um, as you go through these things, we it's, it's very possible to over-level yourself for the missions here. So a lot of times, players will sometimes have to turn off their uh, XP so they don't uh, over-level everything. Since we're playing a stalker, we may have a, a somewhat of an opposite problem, since we're not going to fight everybody. Um, so we may be a little under-leveled for some parts, so we may have to, I may have to, to uh, do some side missions to boost uh, my level up so we can do the next missions and stuff. But that's not a problem right now. Okay. All Notice that they're all yellow, and they're all fairly close. Regular game, you generally see one yellow and one white, right? A minion, a minion and a lieutenant, or you see three whites, three minions. Here, they just spread them all out. So if we hit this guy, we're liable to get these three guys attack and then some other can come in too. So it's much tougher. Let's see, this is, this is the next door. When we go into uh, the tunnels to fight the ghouls, it's, it's very much the same way. You have a, a it's very difficult. Okay, let's see where we gotta go here. I didn't I didn't save all the hostages it looks like either, so I'm gonna have to go back in and find them. Right, let's kill this dude. I don't have placate, I don't have assassination. Okay. Somebody need to rescue some more hostages. After taking four Dan, you found a small audio device in one of his pockets. You flip it on and hear his voice saying the following. To whatever chomper this is, you're probably tossing a shadow over my corpse right now. If not, you, then you missed a party. My name is well, it was four, but nobody gives a puff what my real name was, so it doesn't really float to ponder on it. We read Riding Hooded into the Ministry of Technology, knowing we'd all get corpsed. So you must be grinding gears as to why we do it. We did it to send a big old message out to the she to the sheepy, the sheeple here in Pretoria City. No matter how fluffy the names are, these government agencies don't work for you. They work to enslave you. Open your peepers and rub the sleep out of them. Can you even cogitate what went through our heads to do this? The hours and days we took reflecting on ourselves to come to the decision to deliver a message that our corpses alone could deliver? Or do you even know what happened to us? We brave few took a jab against the Emperor's stack of cards. Did TPN ever pipe this story into your brains? Wake up. The golden whitewash isn't that thick. Dig a little and you'll find the dirt underneath and the bodies the city is really built upon. The wars are over, Cole. Give the people back the freedom they entrusted to you. Or do you not trust us in return? All right. So I got to find those other uh, hostages. I apparently bypassed them. There's not a whole lot of places I could have missed. All right, I'm gonna look around for him, and I will. Be, oh, there's one right there. Oh heck, idiot! I'm gonna. To, I am going to fight all these jokers. Well, at least they're all even level. Okay. I thought I had dodged a bullet, but apparently not. I'm down. Two down. Nice. Three down. Ah! Okay. Oh, and now this opened up the, the next mission, which is this 
Rescue Dr. Tanner. Tanner. Oh, <laughs> Tanner. Jeez. Okay, this door is now open because of that. All right. Oh, this door has opened before. Never mind. I guess he's on the roof. Back up, here we go. Got it. All right, not bad. Let's turn this mission in, and then I think we'll call it a day for this particular episode. What I want to do is, through a series of episodes, go through um, the entire story, entire story arc, and get us all the way to level 20. Um, I'm going to chop out, heavily edit at least, um, most of the missions because, again, most of the missions are really boring, and they're basically just going to the the tunnels, fight the ghouls, click on glowies, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to chop most of that stuff out just so we can see the story and how that progresses and everything. Deep Freeze, you didn't get yourself killed. Good job taking down the scumbags. What's this? A recording? Prater White listens to the message Ford recorded. Without a second thought, he crushes the device in his gigantic metal hands and dumps the pieces to the ground for a cleaner bot to take care of and then snarls. Those resistance fighters knew they were on a one-way ticket into the ministry and they went in anyway. Those damn fools are fighting for the wrong side. Why, I'd strangled my own mother for dedication like that in the PPD. Instead, here I am in charge of damn Peace Corps who ain't fought a real fight in their lives. If this is any indication of the future, then I got a feeling that everything is about to change, Deep Freeze, and not all for the better. You have a phone on you? Good. Call me on the direct line from now on. Getting kind of tired of looking at your face all the time. <laughs> this guy's got some personality. All right. Um, part two. Speaking of change, the first thing I did this morning was triple the number of PPD patrols in the tunnels. Calvin Scott, who's the leader of the resistance, is still at large, and we have reports that he is somewhere down there along with a few resistance staging areas. Well, I just got word that a PPD search team ran into some real trouble and need the kind of help that only Powers Division can offer. Seeing as how you're here and you can hold your own against the gutter trash, I'm sending you to bring in those fools out. Find Officer Tep. He's the one who retreated back into communication range and radioed for Powers Division's help. Once you find him, do what you can for the others. And that's what we'll do in our next episode, so which will start right after this. So until next time, this is Greg29407, along with Deep Freeze, our brand-new stalker, uh, calling in from Pretoria, saying sayonara, and we will see you next time.